why spaving is stupid and won't make you rich. So, do you think you're being smart with your money by snagging deals and discounts? What if I told you that spaving, which is spending to save, is actually one of the quickest ways to stay broke? In this video, I'm going to reveal why this popular habit is sabotaging your wealth and keeping you from getting rich. Ready to find out how? Let's dive in. But first, this is Powerful Money Habits. I'm your host, Dr. Stephanie Aldrich, and I like to talk about habits and money that can help improve your life. If you're new to the channel and like the video, please hit the subscribe button down below and stay till the end so you can learn why spaving is so stupid and will keep you broke. Also, if you want to change your money habits, go grab a free copy of my book. It's called Powerful Money Habits, Unleash Financial Freedom. Uh, link is down in the description below. Also, there's a free masterclass training of over 60 minutes where I teach the three money moves that you need to make in order to build your financial freedom. Again, go to PowerfulMoneyHabits.com website and it's all there for you. All right, let's get back to the show. So the habit of spaving, spending to save, might seem like a clever way to get more value for your money. But in reality, it can sabotage your financial goals and keep you from building real wealth. Here's four reasons why this habit can make you poor. Number one, it creates a fake savings uh, mentality. Blah, blah, blah. Mentality. You're being tricked by discounts. Spaving often involves buying items on sale or in bulk with the justification that you're actually saving money. However, the truth is that you're still spending money you might not have needed to spend at all. The focus on the discount can lead you to purchase things you don't really need, which is money that could have been saved or invested. Buy one, get one free is BOGO. Okay, it's really just half off. You're saving 50%, but you'd save 100% if you didn't buy it at all. Think about that one. Number two, it encourages impulsive spending. Buying for the sake of saving. When you're spaving, you're more likely to make purchases just because they're a good deal, not because you actually need the item. This impulsive spending adds up quickly, draining your resources and preventing you from directing your money towards more meaningful financial goals, like saving for an emergency fund or investing for the future. Have you heard of one-click ordering before? Amazon is famous for this. They've made it so simple and convenient to save your credit card information that allows you to use it every time you just swipe and every time you want to buy, it's there. Of course, this is an easy way to impulse buy. Well, what about free shipping? Sometimes retailers want you to spend $50, $75, or even $100 or more to get that $8 free shipping. Do you really need that extra purchase just to save on shipping? This is one of the main reasons why Amazon Prime and Zappos have enjoyed so much success. It's when you think you're getting something for free, even though you're paying top dollar for their items, you're really not saving any money in the long run. And I know because I used to be an FBA seller on Amazon back in the day. Uh, you're really paying top dollar for your items. So Amazon gets a third of every payment you make for shipping and the warehouse fees for their profits. The other third goes to the seller, if you're lucky, and then the rest goes towards purchasing the product to sell. Um, how about rewards programs? I can get 2% back, but pay 30% in interest fees if I don't pay off my credit card balance every month. It doesn't make sense to play this game. The third one, it neglects long-term financial goals. 
short-term satisfaction is done through spaving. Spaving provides immediate gratification, but neglects the long-term impact on your finances. The money spent on savings deals is money that could have been growing in an investment account or used to pay off debt, both of which could contribute to your long-term wealth building. Finding a deal on something that you don't need is a way to keep you in the poorhouse for sure. Now, if you need that item, your car's on its last legs and you need another one, by all means, shop around to find a good deal, but pay in cash and be done with it. But if you love to go window shopping or browsing on the mall or you know scrolling uh, late night around Amazon or Target to find some kind of deal that they always seem to have, the manipulative marking machine has its tentacles wrapped around you and your wallet. Keep yourself on your budget and keep your eyes focused on your long-term money goals and not on the distractions that are there to prevent all of that. The next one is distracts you from true wealth building strategies. And finally, misplaced priorities. Spaving can create a false sense of financial savvy, making you feel like you're being smart with your money, but when in fact you're building and avoiding the real wor work of building wealth. True wealth comes from disciplined saving, investing, and making thoughtful financial decisions, not from accumulating discounted items. Getting rich is about buying assets, things that put money back in your pocket every month or quarter. Spaving only takes money out of your pocket, giving you a false sense of security and pleasure. So in short, spaving tricks you into thinking you're saving money, but in reality, it's just another form of overspending. Instead of falling into the spaving trap, focus on building habits that actually increase your wealth, like investing wisely, paying down debt, and saving strategically for your future. So the next time you're tempted to spave, remember that it's just a clear marketing trap designed to get you to spend more, not save more. Real wealth isn't built by chasing discounts or stocking up on sale items. It's built by making smart, intentional financial decisions that align with your long-term goals. If you wanna get rich, focus on investing and buying assets, saving wisely, and avoiding the lore of spaving. So that's it for the show today. Thanks for watching. Uh, do you spave? If so, let me know down in the comments. And until next time, this is Money Habits.